Greetings, Earthling. Are you here to see if you can get a blowout with no heat? <laughs> you came to the right place. We're about to find out. Welcome back. Real, so we're gonna try to follow a YouTube tutorial. It's happening. But I said a little bow wow. You just saw me. the way what was this song? Oh, I remember this song. So so bad. Right here we pop some bottles. Right here we get them bottles. Just gotta holler. Come over and call. That's so. That's me, J. B. Brett. Look at me. Ohio is where I'm from. All right. Welcome back to my channel. It is Key, AKA Natural Debut Time. And today we are going to be doing a heatless blowout. So one of the people that I follow, Chic Natural, Chic Natural I think is her name. She has this like heatless blowout so that she does and I need to blow out my hair but I don't want to use any heat. So I figured this is the perfect time to try and follow this tutorial so we're gonna try to follow a YouTube tutorial. It's happening. But before we get started, if you are into natural hair videos and a little bit of beauty, I do dibble dabble dibble dabble in beauty, then just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any of our uploads. We upload every Tuesday and Friday. So I'll link her video below and I'm just gonna follow along. She does get in the shower and co-wash her hair. As you can see, my hair is in an old wash and go. So I most definitely, most definitely need to co-wash my hair. She shows you all of that on camera. I'm gonna skip all of that. I'm gonna co-wash my hair and I will be back to do the actual heatless blowout. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I co-washed my hair. I used the main choice three-in-one conditioner, I believe. It's like a co-wash, detangler, and a leave-in. And so I'm back. So the next step of her process is just plating the hair. So you leave, I have currently, I don't know if you can see, but I have four sections on each side. Let's see. Are going to just play, um, braid the hair. She she did not use any leave-in, but the way my hair is set up, sweetie, I have to have a leave-in. I cannot not to use a leave-in. So I'm just gonna use a little bit because this is obviously a blowout, so you don't want any products like weighing down your hair, but I need something. So I'm gonna use this lavish leave-in from Mish because it's super moisturizing, so a little bit can go a long way, and I don't want to use too much. It's gonna Start on this back section here. I'm just gonna put a little bit that much, which is probably more than I need. And just going to, oh, did you see that hair? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of leave-in. Just, just like make sure I get the ends really good because look, sweetie. Okay, your ends are just Oh uh, look, and the little piece is out, so I'm just gonna put it in with the braid and hopefully it doesn't, it's not too bad. So the idea here is that because your hair is in the these ponytails, the roots will dry straight. And if you braid your hair, the hair will, your hair will be super stretched, so she said the more ponytails you have, the quicker it'll dry and the more stressed it will be. She did eight, four on each side, so I am also going to do eight. So I'm also doing eight, four on each side. And we'll see. Like, I had never tried this type of stretching before. I've definitely stretched my hair with no heat, but this, I, 
understand the logic. I definitely understand the logic. I just don't necessarily know. And she said it dried in one day. And yeah, so I want my hair stretched for a style tomorrow. But I don't know if this is gonna work. We gonna find out. So she braided all the way down, which is very difficult for me. So I'm just gonna, when I get to the very bottom, I'm just gonna twist. Okay, I'm just gonna twist at the bottom because to braid all the way down. Okay, so that's one braid. Now we'll just move on. I'm just gonna do this throughout the rest of my hair. Probably gonna speed this part up for you. Put on some music, vibe out, and I'll be back at the end once all of these are braided. So I'm back, I'm done. I have eight braids in my hair, as you can see. So I did switch it up a little bit. I put a little bit of leave-in on each braid, which may or may not make it revert. I didn't put that much, so maybe it won't revert that much and it won't end up being complete braid out. So yeah, the goal is to um, stretch the hair i do get why she doesn't use a leave-in but i just cannot bring myself to not use a leave-in like that's just not gonna work for my hair i don't know about your type four hair but for my type four hair we need a little bit of moisture just a little bit a little bit just a little bit just a tad tad but we'll see how it goes my braids do look really good i clearly need a trim but that's another story for another time so I am just gonna walk around the house looking like Bow Wow for the next couple of hours or overnight, I should say. And yeah, I will be back tomorrow to take these down, comb them out, see what we looking like. Let's see if the Chic Natural really know what she's talking about or if I just messed up her technique doing my own thing. We gonna see. Be back mañana. Greetings, Earthling. Are you here to see if you can get a blowout with no heat? You came to the right place. We about to find out. Welcome back. So my hair is in eight sections, as you can see. Two, four, six, eight hair is dry and now we're gonna take these out comb them out and see what we're looking like I am hoping this comes out good um, so I switched up what the chic natural does um, because she uses no leave-in or anything like that and that's not gonna work for my hair so no I put a little bit of leave-in in on so I'm thinking it may come out more like a braid out than stretch but we'll see. And I have white tooth comb and a detangling brush. So I'm just gonna take out the hair band here. My hair is dry from what I can feel, at least. I put this on kind of tight because my roots are, I think everybody's roots are puffy in general but my roots were really puffy so i put it on pretty pretty tight here to make sure that we got uh you know those as flat as possible and i mean we'll see we'll see what happens here okay so i'm going to take it unbraid it and then even if it does come out more like a braid out, let's hope it doesn't. Let's just hope it doesn't. But even if it does, 
we can save it. Just based on the fact that my hair has been combed out, it still will be pretty stretched and I can comb it. So yeah, let's just unbraid. So as you can see, it did come out more like a braid out, but we're gonna comb this bad boy out to get what we're looking for here. Let's see if we can get closer to what we're looking for here. It makes sense the way that she does it with less with less water, but it's just so difficult for me personally to um, it's difficult for me to justify doing that with my hair. Like it's just so. There's no moisture. And do you see this knot right here? I'm gonna get the knot on my head. Oh, so it's coming down. It's coming down. There you go. That crazy. So, it gives a braid out, but you could comb the braid out, right? So you're just gonna comb it out. And then I'm just going to put this on it. Put two. I'm gonna put a couple, two, maybe three. This clearly isn't working, so we'll just leave it alone. Not that big deal. We start in this section. And we'll clip these out of the way for that specifically. And I'm just gonna go through this whole process and it's gonna take it out of the hair tie and comb it out. clips out and child we got a lot of hair okay first of all we got a lot of hair oh there's one more clip okay so is it a blowout not exactly so my hair is stretched like that's clear my hair is stretched but it did not come out in the way that I thought it would or I wanted it to I know that I put my own stuff on it because I was like look my hair can't be dry out here so it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to but 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 I did want my hair stretched I need my hair stretched for a style that I'm doing so in the end it's it worked out, but this is not a natural blowout in my opinion. I don't know how she got her hair to be laid all perfect and stuff. Um, I could try it with no product on my hair, but I really do not want to do that. But in the end, I really wanted my hair to be stretched so for a style, it worked out. So is this a fail? I think it's in, in between, in between. Wouldn't do it for a blow. A heatless blowout but it does stretch your hair for your next style if that's what you're going for um but thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one wake meditate and slay